Achievement Mentoring Program Overview, getting started. Welcome to the Achievement Mentoring, or AM, Program Overview. This is a partnership between the Office of Students in Temporary Housing in the New York City Department of Education and Center for Supportive Schools. This video will provide an introduction to the program structure and model, training requirements, mentor responsibilities, and considerations for the mentee selection for our Spring 2022 implementation. We'll begin with an overview of the program model. AM Program Structure A key component of the program model is the stakeholder team, which is composed of four to six individuals who hold roles such as administrators, faculty, counselors, and other school staff. As you think of who to invite to join the stakeholder team, the diversity of voices that will support the various components of AM should be prioritized. The stakeholder team coordinator, or STC, is also a member of this team. The STC is the primary contact and liaison between your school and Center for Supportive Schools. This individual provides support to the mentors, participates in all AM training sessions, and supports the logistics associated with AM implementation. Next on the diagram are the mentors. Up to 10 mentors are invited to participate, but the number of mentors will be determined in partnership with your STH regional manager. Mentors meet with their mentees weekly and check in with one of their mentees teachers. These individuals also communicate with parents or guardians of their mentees. Mentors and mentees continue weekly check-ins for two academic years. Finally, there are the mentees and families. Each mentor partners with two to three mentees, so up to 30 mentees and their families are supported by a trained mentor. Program Purpose The Achievement Mentoring Program Purpose drives the work of the stakeholder team and mentors. Achievement Mentoring supports successful high school completion by matching students with a school-based, caring adult who will support, encourage, and advocate for their success. Goals The goals of Achievement Mentoring are as follows. To reawaken the mentee's passion about achieving life success, both now and in the future. To support mentees in feeling connected to school in order to enhance their learning and academic achievement. To partner with mentees in navigating one to two potential barriers to high school completion. To teach effective problem solving skills and to support the cultivation of positive habits and patterns of behavior. Achievement Mentoring believes all students have the capacity to achieve great things and we can support them on their individualized journeys there. Outcomes. There are a number of statistically significant program effects that have been shown from long-term, randomly controlled program evaluations. These AM evaluation findings show improved grades, increased school attendance, decreased discipline referrals, and decreased juvenile arrests. It is key to highlight here that a mentor-mentee commitment of two years is an important piece of the program model and a factor associated with these evaluation findings. AM has also been certified as a promising program by Blueprints for Healthy Youth Development, recognized by the National Dropout Prevention Center as a model program demonstrating strong evidence of effectiveness, the organization's highest effectiveness rating, and rated as a promising program by the National Mentoring Resource Center. Next, we'll take a look at the responsibilities of an AM mentor. Mentor Responsibilities AM mentors have a few weekly responsibilities to support their school in implementing the AM model. Every week, mentors collect that week's attendance, promptness, and discipline referral data on each of their mentees. This is accomplished by interviewing one teacher for each mentee and completing the weekly report form, 
where they capture information about the mentee's classroom behavior and academic performance for the week, as well as obtain one positive comment from the teacher about their mentee. The mentor then meets with individual mentees for 20 minutes per mentee and completes a brief online mentor reporting and tracking form following the weekly session with their mentees. There are also a few longer term responsibilities. Every month, mentors participate in a mentor focused coaching session with a CSS technical assistance provider and leaves a positive message for parents or guardians of each mentee. As needed, the mentors meet with a CSS coach via phone, video conference, or email. During year one, the mentors also participate in four three-hour virtual training sessions. Finally, during year two and beyond, mentors continue to provide mentoring and report on mentoring activities using the online reporting system. Who serves as a mentor? Mentors can come from a variety of different roles within your school building, including teachers, guidance counselors, social workers, nurses, psychologists, professional counselors, administrators, substance abuse counselors, community agency counselors placed in your school, or other human service workers. While mentors can come from a wide variety of roles, it is important that each individual is committed to positive youth development and are youth friendly, open to professional development and feedback, and creative and energetic. How do achievement mentors do it? Mentors view youth's problems as learned habits that can be changed and view what they are not doing as skills not yet learned. The mechanism or process of change is that students become more confident that they can succeed in school through skilled mentoring by a trained, supportive, non-parental adult. Now we'll move from information about mentors to considerations for selecting mentees to participate in achievement mentoring. Mentee selection. When implementing achievement mentoring, it is recommended that schools select students who have attended school at least three times per week, but may have had challenges attending regularly have received an incomplete in one or more classes as a result of disengagement or unsubmitted work, have had multiple discipline referrals during either of the past two school years, are likely to benefit from this type of one-on-one -on -one adult-led behaviorally focused mentoring program, and will likely be enrolled in your school for at least the next two academic years to allow for full participation in this two-year program. Next steps. If you are interested in bringing achievement mentoring to your school community, an administrator from your team will need to participate in a one hour orientation session to learn more about achievement mentoring and prepare for implementation. Please contact your STH regional manager to let them know you would like to attend an orientation and to further explore this opportunity that can support your students in temporary housing. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this video. We look forward to connecting with your team and STH manager to answer your questions and assist with planning the implementation of achievement mentoring at your school.